In this tutorial, I'm gonna teach you how you can configure the profile names that are used throughout your network when running a community on the BuddyBoss platform. So to get where I'm at, just go to BuddyBoss settings, profiles. And then from here, you'll see you have three options, first name, first name and last name, and nickname. And each of these options serves a unique purpose. First name is really ideal for a casual or semi-anonymous network. First and last name is going to have your user's names displayed in first and last, so it's really designed for a professional network. And with nickname, the first and last name are not required at all, so that's best for a kind of anonymous network. So we've had these three options since launching the platform, and due to customer feedback, we've added some additional options here to really let you customize everything. So I'm just gonna go through everything. Let's start with the default first name. So here we can see there's three fields that are associated with this. And if I come to profile fields at Buddy Boss Profiles, we can see our three fields, first name, last name, and nickname. So we can go ahead and make the last name required or optional, but the first name and nickname are always required because how could we have a user with the first name if we don't have them enter a first name? And the nickname is basically like a handle. If you can imagine on Twitter or Facebook, when you at mention somebody, it uses their nickname. So that's required by the system as well. So those always have to be there. If I come to the members directory, we can see people's names are displaying using their first name. So if I click on Luna, here she is, Luna. Now I can come back here and optionally remove the last name. Since we're using the first name field, we don't really need a last name. So I'm gonna go ahead and disable it. So this is not the same thing as making it optional, it's actually just removing it from the system totally. So if I go back to profiles, we can see there is no more last name available. So if I come here and let's say, try to edit my profile, it's just first name and nickname. There is no last name anymore. So that's a new option that's been added here. Let's go to first and last name. So now all three are required by the system. Let me go ahead and edit my profile. And you can see I get first, last, and nickname again. And if I come back to the members directory, we can see that everyone's name displays as first and last. So if I come back to Luna, we see your whole name. And if I refresh the profile fields, we have all three. And this is all reflected on the registration form and everywhere else. So again, the last name can be made optional. The first name and nickname are required because if we had someone skip their first and last name, then what would we display here? It would be empty. So we need at least their first name. And if you want, you can require the last name too, which would be great for, let's say, some kind of professional network, like an internet for your company. And then we have our third option, which is nickname. And let's say if I come view my profile, we're gonna see it's changed to show my nickname. It's my handle is what's being used throughout. But we can still see my first and last name. So you might want this to be fully anonymous. So now you can go here and uncheck these and save that. And now when we come back to my profile, there is no first or last name displayed here. If I go to the profile field settings, there's no first or last name. It's not on the registration form. So now your network is fully anonymous. So now with all these new options, you can really customize the naming scheme to your heart's content.